So here we are in Jupyter Notebook, and most of these shortcuts also work the same way in Jupyter Lab. But I, I might be doing another video on that uh, later if this is uh, kind of interesting for you. First concept to learn here is uh, that we actually deal with two modes. So as you can see, my uh, cursor is blinking right now in a cell. It means I'm in edit mode. So I'm able to move with my cursor keys freely here and do some quick edits to things. Now, uh, first shortcut ESC will escape the cell and escape the edit mode. So now I'm in comment mode and there's different set of shortcuts. So there's some overlap but mostly in comment mode you have a little bit more shortcuts and then when I press enter I go back to edit mode. So ESC to escape, enter to enter the cell. A very easy shortcuts to remember and already we are a little bit more productive than clicking things using mouse cursor. By the way, let's put the mouse away right now. Okay. So ESC edit command and edit mode uh, first important concept. My second favorite after these might be probably how to execute the cell contents and that is done with enter key. Now uh, you can use the enter key in three different brands. So number one is uh, control enter and of course I'm using windows so I have control and shift and alt modifier keys. If you're dealing with macbook you have a little bit different keys uh, such as command instead of control etc. But the same principles apply so just uh, kind of adjust for the macbook. Okay, so control enter means execute and stay here. So if I if I execute my cell, um, you can see that it's very rapid execution, but the uh, number in the cell next to cell will uh, change. So not right now it's six, I enter and stay in the same place. Now it's seven. And this key works in both command and edit mode. So if I go inside the cell, I can do the same thing. It, it just keeps incrementing the execution number here. And then I can move on to next cell I want to run. Control enter will execute and stay. Now we have also modifiers like uh, shift enter, which means execute and go below. So if I press uh, shift enter, I execute and go to the next one. Shift enter, execute and carry on. Okay. And finally we have um, alt uh, enter. And if I press that one, it means execute and create a new empty cell below. So if I do that one, um, if I do Alt Enter, I keep on creating more space for me. Sometimes this is very kind of good thing to do. You can very rapidly generate more stuff. Okay, more shortcuts. What next? For the next shortcut, you need to be in your command mode, not the edit mode, because if I'm in edit mode, it won't work. Because my next shortcut is how to delete a cell. And uh, the shortcut is double D, but if I'm in edit mode, you can see that I'm just typing it. So I need to escape, go to command mode and do my double D. And every time I do double D, I delete a cell. So just learning these things will make your editing flow a lot faster because um, Alt Enter, create some cells, escape, go here, double D, double D, double D, double D. So already with just a few shortcuts, I think your editing flow is going to be a lot more enjoyable. Okay, so uh, what should we pick up next? Well, I like to teach people to teach themselves. So that's why I try to keep my videos short, just get you motivated, get you started. I'm not going to cover all the nitpicky details because that's boring for me, might be boring for you. And I trust that people have brains, so they are typically able to if they are motivated, pick up and carry on using that uh, uh, beautiful brain of yours. So that's why I typically like to uh, quickly show how you can go deeper. And in this case, answer is H for help. So once you learn the basics, uh, you understand that you are in comment mode, not in edit mode. Simply press H for help. So let the Jupyter Notebook help you and uh, list all the shortcuts. So you can learn one new shortcut every day or every week, however you like, and every one will make you faster and make your editing flow more enjoyable. Well, if you don't want to necessarily uh, be just executing, if you want to just make some space for you rapidly, uh, then we have uh, A and B. A's and B's is where everything starts, so that's also a nice way to think about it. So A, create cell before this one, B, create cell after that one. 
A A A A A a lot of cells and D D D D D D. So you can combine execution flow, but you can simply just create a little bit of space for you A and B. This is a shortcut that I use quite a lot. So typically when I'm brainstorming something in Jupyter Notebook, I have a little bit of code and then I suddenly want to explore or copy some stuff around it. So A and B are very much friends for you. So A, B and double D will help you very, very rapidly edit and make space, delete space, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Now, um, I think next one that I want to share with you is uh, uh, how to change the cell type. By the way, all these commands are obviously in the upper menu, so you can go there and click the mouse buttons, but that's not the point of this video. Point is here to avoid that. The next, next part is how to change the cell type, because here we have markdown cell and here we have uh, code cell. So how would you alternate between these? Let's create a new cell here. And now this cell is a code cell. So I'm able to write some Python here. Something like this. Okay, all good. But now suddenly I want this to be markdown cell because I feel like uh, documenting a little bit. So then your keyboard shortcuts. Markdown shortcut is very simple to remember. That's M for markdown. Okay, so markdown cell and let's execute that or, or kind of compile process that. And here is the result of that. And then if I want to go back, by the way, you have to be in command mode for this one. Um, if I want to go back to coding, that's a little bit more difficult to uh, remember. It's not P for Python, it's Y for Python. But here we go. So now I'm in coding uh, form and my uh, hash means different thing. It means here is a comment. And then I go back to markdown and now it's markdown back to Python, pressing Y, M, Y, M, Y, M, C, A. Okay. Bad joke. Sorry about that one. What else we have here? If you have seen my VS Code shortcut videos, you remember that I love these master keys that work always everywhere. And in this case, uh, it's almost the same as in VS Code. It's P. Uh, P for Palais. So this is command Palais. All the commands that you might need are here listed with a shortcut. So this is a little bit similar than uh, what I showed you the help menu. So you are able to find everything and then you are able to filter them. So if you are looking for the insert commands like A and B, you can find them here. We also have a command without a shortcut. So you can add your own custom shortcuts and you might want to do that, but that's another video for another day. But most important thing right now is that just by pressing P, you can find anything you might want to do and you can see the shortcuts to remind you that, okay, this is how it works. Because uh, while this is a very convenient way of triggering things, it's still faster to use the shortcut. So I typically would use this to find the shortcut. But for some commands, there is no shortcut unless you make it yourself. Okay. We are almost done, but I wanted to show you quite quickly some uh, edit mode shortcuts as well. So let's get started with that one. Um, first shortcut to learn is uh, uh, tab. So if I start something, I press tab. Uh, it will do the auto completion based on what you have around here. So sometimes extremely useful. If you do shift tab, that's a tool tip. So shift tab will open the doc string and show you the, the documentation. So these might be very useful for you. And this is of course context sensitive. So if I have PD dot tab, um, then I'm able to get all the comments and all kind of completions that I have av available for this particular library. So other uh, convenient shortcuts that I, I tend to use a lot is obviously control home, control end to go to the beginning or end of the cell. And obviously end home works as well to go to the beginning or end of the line. But control end, control, uh, control home might be useful if you have big cells. So I tend to have big cells when I'm brainstorming and then I refactor them to a little bit more modular structures. So very convenient things. All this is happening in the edit mode. Uh, control left or right to just go one word at a time. So also a very rapid way to move inside your editing mode. Okay, almost done here. I mentioned earlier that when you are in command mode, you can open the command palette with uh, P. 
but here you can do the same thing but p obviously won't cut it so what do you do well Control shift p does exactly the same thing here and then you have the edit mode uh, commands that you can you can use quite rapidly they typically add the modifiers so they are often the same things as in command mode but you have to press some modifier keys to be able to do that and as i mentioned finally you have the custom shortcuts for example one of my favorites is restart kernel clear all the outputs and run everything but i think uh, this is long enough video for today i wanted to simply get you motivated uh, why shortcuts are good for you they will allow you to uh, avoid stressing your elbow too much uh, they will also allow you to get into flow and forget about the mouse and just focus on your beautiful keyboard and work there so if you enjoyed today's video let me know it by clicking the buttons uh, sub subscribing to my channel leaving some feedback uh, was there any favorite shortcut or any new shortcut for you let me know was there anything i missed or anything that felt kind of wrong uh, also let me know because i aim to improve with every video i make so i i love the feedback that's my fuel that keeps me alive and uh, other than that see you in the next video bye bye